Good evening, brothers and sisters. Good evening, good evening. I am Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank each of you, each of you for joining us on this Tuesday evening for prayer. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we're going to uh, go ahead, brothers and sisters, and initiate here intercessory prayer. Uh, for we always, brothers and sisters, must be cognizant, always be cognizant that it is a, that it is a blessing to be in and a part of the house of the Lord, to be considered amongst the living and not amongst the dead. Amen. There is all sorts of places, brothers and sisters, where we could have ended up, but our Lord and Savior sought uh, and sought for us to be here, amen, together in fellowship and in companionship to lift up the name of the Lord tonight. Bless his holy name. Amen. Before I go any further, I always have to give honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving me from my sins and commissioning me to preach his word, which is the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ to his people all around the world. Bless his holy name today. Amen. Now, tonight's prayer scriptures will be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 through 5, which says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And also from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, which says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Amen. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you, Lord, this evening, Lord, to lift up your name, which is the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father for protecting us from all hurt, harm, and danger, both the seen and the unseen. Heavenly Father, as we move to conclude this month of May, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for each and every single day you have bestowed upon us all. Uh, we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for each and every single day you have protected us from things, Heavenly Father, uh, which we cannot even contemplate. And most of all, Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for giving your life uh, giving your life, Lord, as the only begotten Son of God, uh, so that we all, Heavenly Father, may live and have life more abundantly, amen, so that we can experience your fullness and your wholeness. Bless your holy name tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the Lord our God, because beside you, Heavenly Father, there is no other. There is no other, Lord, because you are the first and the last. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and the Omega, and only your word, Lord, only your kingdom shall remain forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. Because everything, Lord, built by the hands of man crumbles with the ash heap of time. But Heavenly Father, what you create, what you build, what you design, Heavenly Father, it lasts forever. And you are building, Heavenly Father, a kingdom that lasts forever through your son, Jesus Christ through the blood that he shed on the cross for all of our sins, Lord. All of the sins of mankind, all those that are here today, all of those in the past, and all those who are in the future. We thank you today, Lord. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, for again, Heavenly Father, bestowing life upon us, Lord, true life. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, for having this true life. For Lord, you said that he who drinks from your will would never thirst again. So we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your water, for blessing us with living waters, Heavenly Father. Glory to your name today. Heavenly Father, we pray today, Lord, for clean new hearts, that you replace in us, Lord, a clean new heart, a heart, Heavenly Father, that seeks after you, Lord, not just to come to your house and to your temple to honor you with our lips, but to love you, Lord, with our hearts, our minds, our whole body, Lord, our whole spirit, our whole soul. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we have affection for you, Lord Jesus. Amen. That we love you, Heavenly Father, with all that we have, Lord Jesus, and honor you, Lord, from the inside of our homes to the outside, every crack and crevice of our home, Lord. We pray that it is transformed, Lord, into a tabernacle, a 
tabernacle that is pleasing unto the Father. So to do that, Heavenly Father, we ask for the cleanliness, Lord, of our homes, cleanliness of our minds. We pray that in this evening, Lord, that we are transformed by the renewing of our mind, Lord, that we are transformed, Heavenly Father, from all of our thoughts, Lord, all of our concerns, Heavenly Father. We pray today in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that, again, we are transformed by the renewing of our minds in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, gracious God, as we enter a man, the uh, conclusion towards the middle portion of this week. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we keep our minds appraised on thee, that we keep our minds, Lord, appraised on what is important. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we keep our minds abreast on the things of the Spirit. So let us, Heavenly Father, walk by the Spirit, Lord, and not by our own flesh. So we thank you today, Lord Jesus. We thank you tonight, Lord. We thank you tonight, Lord, as we assemble, Lord, in your presence, as we lift up, Lord, our intercessions to you, as we lift up, Lord, our supplications to you, as we lift up the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight for our land. We pray, Lord, for the forgiveness, Lord, of ourselves. We pray for the forgiveness, Lord, of all of our people, all of our people, Lord, those that call upon the name of the Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you forgive us all of our sins, Lord all of our shortcomings, Heavenly Father. We pray, Lord Jesus, we pray, Lord Jesus, that, amen, that we live a life that is pleasing unto you, that we live a life, Heavenly Father, that is pleasing unto you, that is, amen, in accordance with your word. For we know we all fall short, Lord, for all has fallen short of the glory of God. But we know, Heavenly Father, uh, that you, Lord, uh, has set the captives free. And who the Son sets free is free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for rescuing us, rescuing us, Lord, so that we are not bound, amen, by the penalty of the law, because we all have fallen short of the law. But we thank you, Lord, for writing a new covenant, for creating a new covenant, Lord, with the Son, Lord, on behalf of mankind, for it is not a covenant that we could have made, Lord, because we have broken the old covenant. And only you, Lord Jesus, only you, Lord Jesus, was capable of fulfilling a new covenant, Lord, fulfilling the new covenant the covenant with the father on behalf of mankind so we thank you this morning lord jesus we thank you lord this evening lord this afternoon we thank you heavenly father amen for bringing us here and bringing us here amen so that we can lift up your name the name that is above every name the name of jesus christ as the scriptures lord we have read tonight we know lord that we do not war against flesh and blood for we know lord that we are warring in the spirit for when we are on our jobs, when we are in our homes, when we are out in the communities, Lord, we are not warring, Lord, against flesh and blood, but we are warring against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. So, Heavenly Father, we pray against these principalities and powers, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for sending assistance, for sending us assistance, Heavenly Father. For your word, Lord, has been decreed and has been decreed to us and you have sent messengers to us. But the enemy, Lord, uh, is holding up the messages. The enemy, Lord, is trying to hold uh, back the communication. But we thank you today for clearing the airways. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, uh, for clearing out uh, the passages, Lord God, clearing out the atmosphere in our homes, clearing out the atmosphere on our jobs. We thank you for tearing down the tabernacles of the enemy. where well, the enemy, Heavenly Father, has set up stumbling blocks, throwing fiery darts, you, Heavenly Father, has set up a standard against the enemy. And Lord, we thank you today as we infiltrate those strongholds, as we infiltrate, Lord God, uh, those bindings, Lord, where the enemy is trying to kill, steal, and to destroy. We pray against those strongholds in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against this thing, Lord. We come against this thing, Lord, uh, launching a full counterinsurgency. We thank you, Heavenly Father, as we go on the offense of Heavenly Father in the spiritual realm uh, to take back uh, the territory that the enemy has taken, to take back, Heavenly Father, the territory that you have declared that we have. For we have, Lord, the victory in our own households. We have the victory in our own relationships. So we take that territory back in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we claim the territory back in our souls and our spirits where the enemy uh, is trying to wreak havoc with depression. The enemy is trying to wreak, wreak havoc on our spirits, hearts, and minds by us focusing on the possessions of this world. But we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the victory. 
We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the victory, Lord Jesus, is found in only Christ Jesus, not into the things of the world, not Heavenly Father, into the things that we desire, not into the things that we look upon, Lord, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, the love, Lord, our freedom, our victory in truth and justice is not lying in those things, Lord, for it only lies within Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you for freeing our minds today. We thank you for freeing our spirits today for bringing this revelation to us, Lord, the full revelation of Jesus Christ, uh, that this earth is passing and that you are soon to return in your holy name. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, for your word. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word as we are content, uh, consistently, Lord, enduring attacks from the enemy, but we know we have the victory. Uh, we have the victory, Heavenly Father, because we are continuously praying against anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bringing anything into captivity, anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So any and all of these teachings, Lord God, that are out here, anything that is out here to lead the people astray, we come against it. We pray against it in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the minds of the young children, Lord, that are being led astray with social media, Heavenly Father, we pray against the enemy strongholds. We pray, Heavenly Father, against the enemy strongholds. Heavenly Father, we pray against the enemy strongholds of the communication lines. We pray uh, that the priesthood, the priesthood that you want to reestablish, Lord, in the houses, in our homes. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we do not let the enemy get the victory by controlling the children with social media. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the enemy, the tabernacles of the enemy are destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us not erect uh, in our homes uh, shrines to the enemy, Lord, for the enemy can kill, steal, and destroy our minds, our emotions, and our spirits. We pray, Heavenly Father that we are not led astray by the desires of our heart, uh, but that we are walking by the spirit, Lord, that we are walking a man by the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit. We pray tonight that your Holy Spirit descend upon our families, uh, descend upon our homes, Heavenly Father, uh, descend upon our minds, Lord Jesus, uh, to bring any and every thought into the captivity, Lord Jesus of Jesus Christ. So we thank you tonight for the victory. We thank you tonight, Lord God, for the promise. We bless your holy name, Lord Jesus, as we continuously call out, Heavenly Father, the spirits of racism, the spirits of colorism in our households, uh, the spirits of racial superiority, Heavenly Father, and racial inferiority. Heavenly Father, we come against these things, for we have all been made in your image and likeness, every single one of us, Heavenly Father, and it is you that has desire for us to have the skin tones and the skin colors that we have. And Lord, we pray against the hatred jealousy and envy that we have for one another. For your word says, Heavenly Father, how can a man love God and then hate his brother? How can we say, Heavenly Father, we love the parent, but not the children? For we are all children, Heavenly Father, by you. Uh, you have all created us all, Heavenly Father. For we came through this world, Lord, through the vessels of our mothers and fathers, but Lord God, we are all your children. So how can we say, Lord, that we love you and we hate our brothers and sisters. How can we say we love you, Lord, uh, but we do not like or love another person that simply has a different skin color, which was out of their control, Heavenly Father? How, Heavenly Father, can we say we love you and praise you and worship you when we have jealousy and envy in our hearts for one another because one person is lighter skinned and another one is darker skinned? Heavenly Father, we come against these lies in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against these lies, Heavenly Father, uh, these lies, Lord, that telling us that we are walking by the spirit, Lord, and we are walking and living and breathing by the flesh. Heavenly Father, we come against genderisms, Lord God. We come against male superiority. We come against female superiority. We come against the children's superiority. We come against these systems of entitlement, Lord, where people feeling entitled, Heavenly Father. Well, when they have not done any work, Lord God, but we want to be pedestalized simply for being men, simply for being women, simply for being children. Heavenly Father, we come against uh, the spirit of pride that is well, no, inside of us, Lord, that is on the inside, Heavenly Father. We come against it, Lord God. We uh, come against it in our own households. Uh, we don't have time to critique and criticize and other person's households. Uh, we only have time, Lord, to examine ourselves. Your word says, let a man examine himself. Uh, let a man examine himself from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. 
So let him examine his family, Heavenly Father. Amen. We must, Heavenly Father, bring our households back unto the control, back into the abnomission of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray today, Lord, that your word, your desires will be done in our lives, which is the reestablishing of the priesthood in the household, Heavenly Father, for we are going to church every Sunday. Or we are going to the prayer meetings. But Heavenly Father, you are looking for people. You are looking for a people that is going to worship you in spirit and in truth because God is spirit. And he wants us, Heavenly Father, uh, to dedicate ourselves, amen, to you from the households, Heavenly Father, the mothers, the fathers, and the children, all worshiping the Lord, the Most High. Bless your holy name today. For we are not here for a gimmick, Heavenly Father. We are not here for games, Lord God, because we know you are soon to return, Heavenly Father. You are soon to return. Your word says, behold, I come quickly and your reward is with you. So, Heavenly Father, we pray that we keep the sense of urgency. The doctrine of eminence, Lord, we pray that the doctrine and mindset of eminence, Lord, is within us, that we know your return is imminent, Heavenly Father. For no man knows the day nor hour when their time has come, nor does no man know the day nor hour when the Son of Man shall appear to claim his kingdom, to establish his kingdom down here on earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up all of our sick and our shut-in to you. We want to lift up all of our sick and shut in, Lord. We lift them up to you, Lord, one by one. We call it out against every disease, Lord Jesus, every form of cancer and heart disease and brain disease and kidney disease, lung disease, those who cannot breathe, Heavenly Father, those that cannot walk, cannot talk, cannot speak, those that are not even able to clean themselves and feed themselves. Heavenly Father, we pray for all of our sisters and brothers in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that we do not have a sense of elitism or superiority about us. Heavenly Father, because it could have been any one of us, Lord, that could have been out in a wheelchair. It could have been any one of us, Heavenly Father, diagnosed with any of those things. But we thank you today, Lord Jesus, for protecting us. We thank you today for healing our sisters and brothers. We do not take what we have for granted, Heavenly Father. We thank you for everything you have blessed and bestowed us with. We thank you, Lord, for blessing us to be a blessing to someone else. So, Lord God, we offer this evening, Heavenly Father. We offer this evening, Lord, our supplication, our prayers on behalf of our brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we call out the names to you. We call out these names to you, Heavenly Father, for these, Lord God, have come to us for day and many, many more, Heavenly Father, are standing in the need of a miracle. They're standing in the need of a touch. They're standing in the need of your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father. So we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, as we lift up Apostle Don Trim Jones, we lift her up in your holy, precious name. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for her. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for healing her body, healing her mind, healing her spirit. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for strengthening her spirit with supernatural strength as she continues to build your kingdom, Lord, in the Douglas, Georgia community. We thank you, Lord. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Pastor Mac Jones. We thank you for strengthening him, Lord, as they stand shoulder to shoulder. Amen. Accomplishing your will. We pray for their children and grandchildren. We thank you for lifting them up, Lord. We thank you for lifting them all up, Heavenly Father. We pray for the entire Trim family, Lord God. We pray, Lord, this morning for Aunt Missionary, amen, Stembridge. We pray for Aunt Missionary Lily Stembridge in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the whole Cordial family community. We thank you for healing them, Lord. We thank you for healing them, Heavenly Father. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, as we lift up Casey Roberts, Lord. We lift up Casey Roberts. We lift up Minister Latrina Cope in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we lift up Talia, Mary, and the entire family, Lord God. We lift up Shamia Powell, Lord God, for you know, Lord, what she is standing in the need of this very moment, this very hour. And we thank you for delivering her. We lift up, Heavenly Father, Catherine Hunter in the name of Jesus Christ. For, Lord, where the doctors have been confounded and do not know what to do, we know that it is you, Lord, that does the impossible. We pray for Desiree Davis, amen, this evening. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Carolyn Perilyn Minor in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Elder Sharon Spence and Brother Willie Spence Sr. in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up Minister Kendra in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray covering over their schools, over their businesses, all of their affairs in their households in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray over the entire Spence and Singleton family. We thank you for covering them. 
We thank you for covering them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up the family of Elder Marty Swain. We thank you for healing them. We thank you for restoring them. We thank you, Lord, that you rest, rule, and abide on the inside of each and every single one of them. Heavenly Father, we pray for the Wade family. We thank you for strengthening the Wade family. We thank you for delivering the Wade family and all of their children and generations in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Sister Shea Wallace and all of her family. We pray, Lord, for their condolences, Lord. We send our condolences. Lord God, we pray a strength as we lift up all of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Minister Brenda Wilcox and family, Lord God. We thank you for strengthening her. We thank you for strengthening them all in your holy, precious name. Heavenly Father, we pray for Scott Bender and Jeanette Smith. We lift them up, Heavenly Father. We lift them up, Lord, in front of the table in the tabernacle of incense, Lord God. We lift them all up to you, Lord, and all, amen, and we thank you for deliverance for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Loyalty Johnson, amen. We lift up Carolyn Carter, Miss Debbie Rock. We thank you for healing Miss Debbie Rock. We thank you for healing Miss Debbie Rock and her family in the name of Jesus Christ. We glorify your name tonight, Lord. We glorify your name tonight, Lord, for you, amen, are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. It is you, Heavenly Father. It is you, Heavenly Father, that uh, attacks the enemy with the sword of your mouth. Bless your holy name. Heavenly Father, we lift up Minister Eliza Collins, Lord and family. We thank you for healing Minister Eliza Collins. We thank you for restoring Minister Eliza Collins. We thank you for accomplishing your will, Lord, through her life and the life of her family in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Elder Ann, amen. We lift up Elder Ann Clark and her family and friends. We lift all of them up in the name of Jesus Christ. We lift up our friend Ava, Lord God. We lift them all up, Lord Jesus. We thank you for strengthening Elder Ann with supernatural strength, supernatural stamina, supernatural ability in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Elder Wanda Edmondson, Lord, and her family. We thank you, Lord God, for Elder Wanda. We thank you for strengthening her. We thank you for building her up, Lord, where she is weak. We thank you for restoring her where she is torn down. Again, we thank you, Heavenly Father, amen, for bringing the light into the darkness in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Elder Gwen Weston. We thank you for restoring Elder Gwen Weston. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for protecting her. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for reinvigorating her, Lord God, as she accomplishes your will, Lord, as she accomplishes your will in the position that you have appointed her to. We pray, Lord God, that her education, her mind continues to expand, Lord God, to new levels, Heavenly Father, uh, new levels, Lord, to accomplish the work that you have for her to do. Heavenly Father, we lift up Pastor Bryant and family. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for his ministry. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for using him as your servant, Lord, to accomplish your will in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you as we lift up Minister uh, Hernandez, Minister Hector Hernandez, Minister Amanda Hernandez, and their family. Heavenly Father, we thank you for protecting them. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for bestowing upon them, Lord, a new promise, Lord, a new promise, Lord, to do, amen, that which you have willed them to do, and blessing them, Lord, with the strength, the supernatural abilities to do it, to be leaders in the ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up, Lord God, Elder Ralph Laborde and Elder Gina Laborde. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for the gift of music for Elder Gina, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of music in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for their strength as they continue, Lord, to support Apostle Don, as they continue to support the Bethel family. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the victory in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray over all of their children and grandchildren. We pray for their covering of their household. Heavenly Father, we lift up Elder Lorraine Trim. We lift up Elder Marlene Trim. We lift up Elder Camille Trim in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up Minister Landy Phillips, Lord God. We lift up, again, Minister Wilcox and her family. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Minister Tia and Renee Pope. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for strengthening them as servants of the Most High. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Minister Latrina Cope. We thank you, Lord God, for Brother Bernard Childs and family. We thank you, Lord God, for Mia and Cornelius Goldwire in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for healing Kevin, a child in need of our prayers. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for uh, rescuing and healing Noah Lucas. We thank you for healing the entire Ward family. We pray for Minister Betty Ward. We pray for Deacon Johnny Ward. We pray for the Ward family. We pray for their children and grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for keeping all of them, Lord. We thank you for restoring all of them, Heavenly Father. We pray, Heavenly Father, Lord, God, for the Hazel family in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for them, Lord. We thank you for protecting them from all hurt, harm, and danger, both of the seen and the unseen. We thank you for covering them, Heavenly Father, to do your will in this world. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for Sister Greta Sims and family. Heavenly Father, we thank you for healing Sister Greta Sims. We thank you for healing Miss Melissa Below. We thank you for strengthening her mind. We thank you, Heavenly Father. Bless your holy name today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for healing Becky McCall. We call out the Becky McCall family, Lord Jesus. We call out Heavenly Father Lisa, Miss Debbie Rock's cousin and family. We call out Heavenly Father Miss Malay's grandma, Jimmy Marie Lewis, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up Larry Gaskin, Lord God. We lift up Larry Gaskin, Lord God, as he continues, amen, uh, to serve you. Bless your holy name today. We pray for salvation this evening. We pray for salvation for Mr. Robert. We pray, Heavenly Father, that he has come down off that fence in the name of Jesus Christ and that he believes, uh, that he believes, Heavenly Father, in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray again for the Williamson family. We pray for the Williamson family, Heavenly Father. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the Richardson's family. Heavenly Father, we pray, amen, for the Pickens family. We pray for the Ross family. Heavenly Father, we pray for the Clarks family. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the Cronshaw family, for the Olivers in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the Richardsons in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for the Evans family, Heavenly Father. We pray for all of the families, Lord God, uh, that are connected tangentially and connected, Heavenly Father, internationally. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you rest, rule, and abide upon all of us, Heavenly Father, as we pray for the dispensation of your grace. We pray, Heavenly Father, that your grace is dispersed and dispensed on the inside of us, Heavenly Father, uh, that we not look at each other's faults, Lord, and try to hold each other to a level of accountability, which we are not even able to uphold. We pray, Lord God, that we put down the stones, Lord God, and stop attacking one another for our sins. And that we look to each other, Lord, with understanding. And that we look to each other, Lord, in a spirit of love. That we are all children of the Most High. For you have created all the children of the world, Heavenly Father. No matter how we are, no matter how tall we are, no matter how small we are, no matter of our complexion, Lord God. You created all of us, Lord Jesus. We are all your children. Bless your holy name today. And one day, Lord, as you said in your word, all the nations of the earth will look upon your face. We will all look upon your face, Lord, and more. We will all look upon your face and more. Why? Because we have been faced with the truth uh, that you are the master of this world, that you are Lord of King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And you are going to return to return soon, Heavenly Father, to reclaim what is yours. Uh, the bridegroom is to return for the bride soon and very soon. So we pray, Heavenly Father, uh, that you do not catch us with our work undone. We pray, Heavenly Father, uh, that when you return, Lord, that we hear those words, Lord, those cherished words to be cherished of all time, good and well done, my faithful servants. So we pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that we put down our stones, we put down our knives and guns, and we pick up the word. We pick up the word of God, Lord. We pray, Heavenly Father, that we put down the petty things of life and that we pick up your word, uh, the most precious thing of life, because your word is life, because you are your word. Bless your holy name tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this assembly. We thank you for this fellowship that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you as we pray for each and every single person tonight that has tuned in, that has tuned in to listen. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit be upon them as they go out into this world, Lord God, as they lay their head on their pillow. Lord God, we pray for them, their spouse, their children and grandchildren, their households in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Blessed be your holy name today. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining me tonight. Amen. Please stay tuned. Please continue to pray 
uh, even though we are not here corporately every night. Let us continue to pray, brothers and sisters. Pray without ceasing. Amen. Let us pray for any and all things, Lord. Uh, let us pray for any and all of our brothers and sisters, no matter where they are. They are always standing in the need of prayer, brothers and sisters. Let us always remember that right now there are children that are being uh, blown apart in the Middle East, being stolen and kidnapped all around the world. There are many other wars that are happening. And let us always keep them on our minds, brothers and sisters, for there is always somewhere, someone in need of someone to pray for them and intercede for them in the name of Jesus Christ. We here at Revelation of Ministries will continue to pray for each of you in your life, of your circumstances. And we decree and declare tonight, right now, that we are saved, that we are delivered from whatever it is holding you down, whatever state of depression, whatever state of fear. We pray against it in the name of Jesus Christ, for the Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love uh, and that of a sound mind. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this assembly. I thank you for each of you for joining me this evening, amen, for intercessory prayer. Please join us on this Thursday uh, at uh, 8, 8 o'clock for Bible study. Please join us this Sunday, amen, at 7 a.m. for the morning, early morning service and at 11.30 a.m. for the Sunday morning service. And continue to follow us on Facebook and YouTube for additional biblical and word of God content. My name is Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank each of you for joining us, amen, online tonight for intercessory prayer. All of you, amen. Bless the name of the Lord and all of you have a very blessed night and a blessed rest of week. Amen.